Hey guys, Dorwick31 here with another video, and this one is episode 6 of my NBA 2K16 My Park series. And as you can see from the title, this one is strictly about Russell Westbrook and the Boston Celtics. As you guys know, the Boston Celtics have been in the market for a good player this whole offseason. They tried to get, you know, Kevin Durant, but we see how that went with him going with Golden State instead, joining that super team. And just, they've been all around the board trying to get superstars, they've been trying to get Jimmy Butler. And now, since Russell Westbrook said he will not be signing next year with the Oklahoma City Thunder, of course, Thunder is going to be looking to trade him. And the Boston Celtics are very, very interested in the course, and they have enough cap space. They have first-round draft picks, and they have some good players on the team that they can, you know, actually have a little bit of a beneficial effect for the Thunder to actually make this trade make a little bit of sense. Now, if this trade does go through, you guys know that the East has always been a weak conference, especially last year. And if this trade does go through, if Russell Westbrook does land on the Boston Celtics along with Al Horford now on the team, the East is definitely going to be a huge power-up compared to the West now. They're not going to be better per se, but there's definitely going to be a little bit more competition on both sides instead of, well, the Cavaliers easily sweeping the East every single time. Because Cavaliers had an easy walk to the finals. All they really had to worry about was the Raptors and... For the Cavaliers team with Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love, and LeBron, that wasn't too much of a challenge. So now that the Thunder are really hurting right now, especially if they lose Russell Westbrook, that's basically Victor Oladipo. That's about all they have now if Russell leaves, which is most likely going to happen. So that means the West is going to lose their super team. Spurs, they're going to be a good team this year, of course, but they're not going to be as good as last year, per se, I don't think. And I think the West is definitely going to take a hit in you know the amount of wins they're going to achieve this year. And I think the East is really going to pick up on that, and the East will somehow somehow be able to compete with Western teams. And another team that makes the East a lot more interesting is the New York Knicks signing Derrick Rose. They got Joe Kim Noah. Of course, you got Chris Tapps Porzingis. Then you got Carmelo Anthony. This team is definitely looking a lot better than last year. I believe they can get a actually a winning record this year instead of being one of the NBA's worst teams. And now, that being said, that's going to make the East even stronger than they were last year, making them a lot better of a competition for the West. Now, that's really what I wanted to talk about in this video. I wanted to share all the Russell news in the Eastern Conference or Western Conference and let you guys know all the details on that. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely comment what you think of Russell going to Boston. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's My Park episode.